Hello everybody, Comte here with another video. How to create a text typing effect in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.5. Inside your edit window, go to effects library, go to effects, and select fusion composition. Click and drag this effect to the start of your edit timeline. By selecting and dragging the red playhead on the edit timeline, we can check the duration of this fusion clip by placing this at the end of this particular edit. And according to the time reference, this particular clip will play for 5 seconds. Left click on the right side of the fusion composition clip and drag your mouse cursor to resize if you wish. Right click on your fusion composition clip and go to open in fusion page. Inside your nodes panel, Hold Shift and press Space to open up the Select Tool window. Search for Text Plus, select this tool and go to click on Add. Deselect this new Text 1 node by clicking on the grid in the Nodes panel. Hold Shift and press Space again. And this time go to add a Background node. With this particular Background 1 node selected still with its red outline, Hold in shift and press space once again. And go to add a merge tool. Since we selected the background one node previously, this merge one node should be connected via the yellow line, which will represent the background of our video. Go to connect merge one to media out one by clicking on the grey box to the right of merge one and dragging this down to the yellow arrow which appears next to media out one. so that the background will show on the video preview inside our fusion window. Go to click on background one. Go to inspector. For this particular project, I'm going to set the background color to white. We can adjust the color by clicking on the box next to the color label and shifting the arrow on the right sided vertical bar to the top to select the relevant color. Click OK. Go to select your text one node. Hold shift and press space. Go to add a second merge node. Which should also be connected via a yellow background line. Although a background setting is applied here, what we can do to have the text be displayed in front of the white background that we have on our canvas is to connect the merge 2 node to merge 1 via the foreground green triangle. Select your text one node, go to inspector, type in the message that you wish to have appearing on your screen inside the style text box of the properties. I will change the font color here to black, doing the reverse to what we did in the background setting. For the font choice, I'm going to select Lato and keep the format as bold with the size 0 0.08. Ensure that your text one node is selected. Hold Ctrl and press C to copy. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Deselect your text one node and hold in Ctrl and press V to paste. Go to select your text one node. Ensure you are at the first frame of your video, which is frame zero. Double click in the box below the timeline to change this manually. Inside your inspector window now, for your text one node, the final property under text should be right on. Change end to 0, 0.0. As the video plays, we wish for each letter in our message to be displayed one at a time, from left to right and therefore the value for right on end needs to be modified as the video plays. Left click on the diamond icon to the right of right on, so that this changes red, and the start and end values are applied to the very first frame in our video. Now go to the final frame on your video, which is frame 119. You can tell what the final frame number is by the second box to the left underneath the timeline in your fusion window. 
now set right on end to 1.0. You should currently have a video which shows text being typed out one character at a time. Now go to your second text node. Connect this to the Merge 2 green arrow. Select this second text node. The purpose of this second text node is to display a blinking cursor on the spaces where your new characters will appear as they are typed out, just like on a computer screen. Your message and font settings should already be the same from your initial text node as a result of you copying and pasting this. However, since we copied and pasted this before doing the write on settings for our first text node, this particular variable should still have its default settings. Go to Shading. Ensure that Select Element is 1, Enabled is ticked, and Sort By is set to Priority. Choose the third option next to Appearance, which is Border Fill. What we have now is the rectangular shape that will make up our blinking cursor eventually. However, like with conventional computer screens, we only want one blinking cursor to appear on the screen at any time, and that will be where the new character is being typed. So how can we make this blinking cursor appear on the left side of our message? and slowly make its way across to the right side of the screen, revealing the whole text message by the end of this video. Before applying this technique, what we need to do first of all is reduce the width of the blocks that appear on screen. Scroll down your inspector window to find size at the bottom. Double click on this label to reveal X and Y properties. Change X to 0.2. so that this size is applied throughout your animation. Note how with the bigger letters in your animation, the size of the block itself will be slightly wider. As we play our current video, we can see that each character is assigned with an individual vertical bar. Go back to frame zero. In order to ensure that only one of these vertical cursor bars are displayed on screen at any one time, what we need to do is adjust the write on settings in our inspector window. Go to text. At present, write on start is set to 0, 0.0 and write on end is set to 1.0, meaning that all lines will be displayed on screen at all time. What we need to do at frame 0 is reduce the difference between write on start and end so that only the bar furthest to the left is displayed at the start of the video. I will set end to 0 0.009. Set a keyframe. 0 0.009 is basically the value representing the width of what we see from the second text node as the video plays. As the video plays, we want the lines on the letters that have already appeared to have disappeared. Go to your final frame. Set right on end to 1.0. Change start to 0 0.991. The difference between the values of start and end still being 0 0.009. We can see on the preview screen that we have applied a cropping type effect to our text node, so that only one vertical bar is shown at a time. A problem that we have with our current animation is that the blinking cursor line appears right in the middle of each of our letters. Where we want for this to be is to the right side of each character which appears instead. In order to adjust the position of your blinking cursor line, ensure that you are at frame 0. Go to Layout. To shift the cursor to the right of the letters, I will change Center X to 0.52. Now to enhance the video so that its appearance resembles that of a computer screen. Go back to your edits window. Inside your effects library once more. Under toolbox in effects, you should find adjustment clip above fusion composition. Click and drag an adjustment clip onto your timeline to video track 2, directly above the fusion composition clip which you inserted at the start of this project ensuring that both start and end points are parallel. Now go to Open Effects. 
and in filters search for scan lines. Select and drag this onto your adjustment clip on your timeline. Select your adjustment clip, go to Inspector, select Open Effects, with scan lines open, change the line frequency to 7.6, scroll down your properties and change composite type to normal. Change blend to 0.9. Go back to your Open Effects filters and search for the Vignette filter. Left click and drag this to your adjustment clip also. Scroll down the Open Effects settings for your adjustment clip under Inspector to find Vignette at the bottom. Double click on this label to reveal the variables for this filter. Change size to 1.000. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.